hey what's going on guys um welcome to my channel welcome to a brand new video just in case you're joining for the first time my name is kurt buchanan and i do want to take this opportunity just to welcome you to my channel and to ask you just to hit the subscribe button and to like this video before we get started all right so in tonight's video i'm going to be showing you guys you guys who are interested in drop shipping from aliexpress right whether you want to drop ship um, in your eBay store or you want to drop ship in your Shopify store I'm going to show you guys um, the process that you should use to find the best suppliers good quality suppliers on Aliexpress alright alright so the first thing that you want to do in order to get uh, uh, to, to set up your Aliexpress um, system so you can find the best suppliers and, the, and get the best service that you want is to install a Chrome extension by the name of Oberlo or Oberlo or Oberlo depends on how you want to pronounce it. All right, so it's a Chrome extension, so you can go ahead and search for that in Google Chrome, as you can see. Um, it's right here, Oberlo AliExpress.com product importer. All right, so you want to get this um, this uh, Chrome extension first before you do anything else. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what it does in a minute. But I'm just, I just want to show you how you can go ahead and get this installed on your computer, right? So, as you can see, it is saying add it to Chrome. That's because I have it installed. But if you didn't, or if you don't have it installed, it will say add to Chrome. And you just go ahead and add to Chrome. Alright, and that's it. Once you have that installed, alright? Next thing you want to do is to go over to AliExpress, of course, right? And, um... You want to search for the product that you are interested in importing in dropshipping, right? So for this particular example, I'm going to use Choker, right? Choker was big last year in 2016. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's big this year, but um, there may still be some opportunity for Chokers. All right, so once I have the product that I want to, I want to dropship, the product that I'm interested in, which is Choker, right? And I search for that in AliExpress. You're going to want to do a, a, a few things, right? So the first thing that you want to do is change this from best match to sort by orders, right? We want to find the suppliers with the largest number of orders um, on AliExpress, right? So as you can see right here, this particular seller has over 26,000, 20, 23,000 orders. Um, 13,000, 19,000, right? So this is sorted by number of orders, highest number of orders, right? But what you will notice here is that I have these, each of these particular suppliers, their listing is highlighted in green, right? And it is saying e-packet. This is because of the settings that I have in Oberlo, right? So let me just click on Oberlo real quick and show you what the settings are. Alright, so as you can see, this Oberlo app, what it does is it filters AliExpress search results based on your requirements, alright? So, I particularly want to see um, sellers with e-packet shipping, right? Because e-packet is the fastest shipping, fastest low price shipping out of China, right? Um, I have it set to the United States. You can change the country if you want. But since um, my primary customer base is in the United States, I would uh, I, I have mine set at the United States. And the currency is in US dollars, all right? Um, right here it says, hide items without this option. Yes, you can turn it off if you want. So right now I'm just um, seeing the listings with e-packet shipping because this is ideal for dropshippers, right? Um, show processing time, yes. This, is also, this will also help you to um, determine um, the best suppliers, right? Because you want the fastest um, processing time with the highest number of orders um, and a certain other uh, requirements that I'm going to show you guys in a minute. All right, so what, what I want to look for now is to actually find suppliers that have diamonds, right? The diamonds represent the feedback level, the feedback level and score for a particular seller, right? So, for example, this particular seller has three diamonds. Their feedback score is 3,983. This particular seller has five diamonds. Their feedback score level is 10,240. 
all right so you want to look for sellers with diamonds or crowns right let me see if i can find any su suppliers here that has crowns but diamonds are really good you don't want to go for suppliers that have uh gold medals right so all of these suppliers right here have diamonds which is really good so we can choose from any of these suppliers um with confidence knowing that we are getting um a good supplier this particular supplier has a crown one crown their feedback score level is 23 uh, thousand right so i'm not seeing any suppliers here with uh only gold medals but you you don't want to um you don't want to use those suppliers that only has gold medals right all right so that's great that's one of the criteria that you need to look out for the next thing that you want to check for is to um to actually go ahead uh check out a particular supplier that you like say for example this one your process processing time is 11 days so i may look for one with a shorter processing time for example this one processing time is four days all right so let's look at this particular seller what, what we are going to do now is to go ahead and contact the seller all right and to check out their profile all right so as you can see this seller give the page a second to load fully this particular seller has uh, 14,000 votes right 4.9 stars that's that's good positive feedback of 95.9 .9. usually I say go for 97 but since this is a seller with five diamonds and has been open for four years uh, may go with a 95.9 .9. this is just uh, approximately almost 96 percent which is not terrible but i would like to have seen 97.5 or 98 percent but that's fine all right next thing you want to do is to scroll down the page and to take a look at the images that this particular supplier has all right you want to see if these particular images could work in your store and if they're water watermarked if they're watermarked you're gonna have to request and ask them if they have actual images that are not watermarked all right so next thing that you want to do is to look at transaction history all right the transaction history give, gives you data for the past six months as you can see right right here all right so as you can see this particular seller april 17th which is today about one piece five piece eight piece and so on and so forth so this particular seller is able to ship out on a daily basis it seems because this is april 17th and those orders went out um today all right so this looks like a good supplier so the next thing that you want to do is to go ahead and send this particular supplier a message all right so in order to do that you hover over the store's name all right and you go to contact now so everything seems okay so far they have a good feedback score they have diamonds and um, they have a good transaction history and they have good quality photos on their um, their their website all right so the next thing that we want to do is to go ahead and send this particular seller a message so this is the message that you want to send your potential supplier right so this is how I usually uh, type my messages I say hi seller right you can say hey there and if you have a name you can say hi Tom hi Joe all right I am interested in selling your products in my online store but I have some questions full stop so question number one do you provide drop shipping services that's the first question that you want to ask because you want to find out if they're okay with drop shipping not all suppliers are okay with um, drop shipping right so that's question number one which is the obvious question that you would want to ask your supplier um, next question that you want to ask even though we went through the transaction history and we realized that customers were buying one item 17 item 10 items I also like to ask um, is there a MOQ MOQ is minimum order quantity and we want to find out if there's a minimum order quantity because if, if we have one sale in a day or one sale in five days 
we still want to have our orders shipped out to our customers, right? So we need to know if there is a minimum order quantity. Number three, will you be able to fulfill orders on a daily basis? On a daily basis, consistent. All right, so we want to know if they will be able to process orders on a daily basis and if they will be able to do so consistently because we don't want to be a case where they run out of stock frequently and they take forever to replenish their stock. So we want to know if they have the capacity to fulfill our orders, right? Um, question number four that I usually ask is do you have high quality stock? images of your products all right um, this question is for the obvious reasons of course because we want high quality photos to had to add to our uh, website or, or eBay Amazon stores so people will be able to get a good view of what we are actually selling right if they are not able to provide high quality uh, images we may have to go ahead and buy some stock and um, have a photographer uh, take some really good shots of the products that we uh, are actually interested in that's a lot of work and we don't really want to do that so we want to ensure that all suppliers can um, provide us with high quality images to add to our um, to our stores um, question number five which is the last question so I have five questions that I usually ask and I have this in a template guys I'm just typing it out for you guys so my last question is usually can you process bulk orders from CSV or Excel files all right the reason why I ask if they are able to uh, fulfill to process bulk orders is because it's it's very time consuming to go through and, and order one by one if you have a lot of sales in a particular day or over the course of a uh, couple of days so if you have orders coming in frequently, say 10 orders per day, 15 orders per day, you would want to be able to um, to just download your CSV files with the orders and send it to them and have them fulfill the orders with the uh, information that is on the CSV file as opposed to you going in and um, trying to place orders one by one. So that's um, the last question that I usually ask. And um, if I get a positive answer for each of these questions, um, tying with all the other things that we um, checked earlier they offer e-packet uh, shipping they um they have uh, good seller ratings they have transaction history and they have diamonds uh, seller level or crown seller levels then that those are the things that you want to look for um you know to, to be able to determine if a supplier is a good quality supplier on aliexpress guys so that's it for this video and i hope um uh, it helps and um, as I said before if it did please go ahead and like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more I'll always be giving you guys tips and tricks and showing you guys the process as to how to go about doing drop shipping successfully whether you're doing it from within the United States using US suppliers or suppliers outside of the United States such as Aliexpress so that's it for this video once again thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in my next video